Hello friends! In this tutorial, I want to teach you all the collision adjustment methods for different models inside Unreal Engine 5.4. After this tutorial, you will have the ability to easily adjust the collision of all the simple or complex models that you import into your scene, such as landscape, bridge, gate, rock, tree, etc. Before we start, if you're interested in this content, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and join our newsletter for exclusive educational tips and updates. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. For this tutorial, I have prepared a scene in 3ds Max software. In the first step, I select all the models. By clicking on Export Selected, I export the models, set the output format to FBX, and save it. I entered Unreal Engine software, imported the models in FBX format and performed the initial settings of the scene. Press the play button. As you can see, when we move inside the scene, the character does not react to the scene models and passes through them. To fix this issue, we need to adjust the collision of the models. We select the ground model and enter its settings. From the collision section, we can choose different modes. First we select the simplest mode which is box collision. The green box around the model indicates the collision area. Click on save. By pressing play, we enter the game mode. The collision of the model is applied as a flat surface and does not react to the terrain's ups and downs. For models like landscape that have highs and lows and require these points to be correctly set in collision, we use a different method. In this method, I first enter the modeling mode tab. From the attributes section, select mesh to collision. From the output options, set collision type to use complex as simple. To confirm the settings, click accept. We enter the game mode. You can see that the character moves correctly on the model and the collision is set up properly. In the next step, we want to adjust the collision for the bridge model. First, I enter the settings of the bridge model. From the show section, tick the complex collision option. All models that we import into the scene have a complex collision based on their mesh type. To set complex collision as the collision of the model in the details menu from the collision section, I set collision complexity to use complex collision as simple. We enter the game mode. As you can see, the character correctly recognizes the bridge model and moves on it. The complex collision mode is one of the most accurate collision settings but due to the high number of edge and vertex in some models, it is not a suitable method for the gaming industry because it can overload the system's hardware. We can use another method called UCX Collision for complex models. To do this, we enter one of the modeling software programs, such as 3ds, Max, Blender, Maya, etc. I name the model for which we want to create UCX Collision and copy this name for later use in naming the UCX models. We model the general shape of the bridge using a simple box model and increase the number of longitudinal segments. Then, using Edit Poly, adjust the location of the edges. We change the model's name to UCX underscore bridge underscore zero one, make a copy of the model and place it on the side. For the middle section, we model the general shape of the bridge using the previous method and name this model UCX underscore bridge underscore zero three. For the base parts of the bridge, I also use the same method to create its general shape in the simplest form using a box. I select the bridge model and the UCX models, go to the export section and choose export selected, saving it in the desired location in FBX format. Then we enter Unreal Engine. From the content drawer, we re-import the FBX file of the bridge model. During import, we uncheck the Generate Missing Collision option. Then, bring the bridge model into the scene and reset its location so that it is positioned correctly. We delete the previous model and re-enter the Game Mode section. You can see that the UCX collision is correctly applied to the model and the character moves properly on the bridge. I go to the Settings page of the bridge model and in the Show section, Tick the simple collision option to see how the UCX collision is positioned on the model. In the next step, we want to set up the collision for the gate, rock, and surrounding light models. I enter the rock model settings. Using several methods, including complex collision, we can adjust the collision of this model, but as mentioned earlier, 
using this method is not suitable for models with a high number of vertices. To set up the collision for models like rocks, we can use the convex collision method. In the convex decomposition section, we can adjust the collision of the model by changing the numbers. By increasing the values in this section, the accuracy of the model's collision increases. We can do the same for the light model. If we enter game mode, we can see that the collision for the rock and light models is set up correctly. I enter the settings of the gate model. For models like the gate, we can also use several methods. In the first method, in the collision section, we set the collision complexity option to use complex collision as simple. The collision of the model is set up correctly, but we can also use a simpler and lighter method. In this method, depending on the shape of the 3D model, we can choose one of the collision modes, box, capsule or sphere. For the gate columns model, I use the capsule collision mode. Using the move, rotate and scale tools, we can change the shape and position of the collision model. By selecting the collision model, holding down the Alt key and moving with the move tool, we create a copy of this model and place it at the location of the other column. We set the collision complexity to project default, save the model settings and enter the game mode. The collision model has been set up correctly and optimally. Additionally, we need to set up the collision for models like trees in our scenes. To do this, I enter the settings for the tree model. In the convex decomposition section, adjust the numbers and click on apply. I save the changes. We can see that the collision of the tree is also set up correctly and the character reacts appropriately to the tree. Of course, don't forget that we can also use the UCX collision method for models like trees to set up a lighter collision for them. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you found this video helpful, please like it and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the upcoming videos.